how to correctly open a bottle of wine. By now, you would have prepared your wine. If it is a vintage wine, you would have settled it for four or five hours. If it's a white wine, it would have been in the fridge for a couple of hours to get it to drinking temperature. Um, wines now come in different enclosures. Screw cup, which is straightforward. And then you have normally, the traditional one has been a cork, um, which is a natural product, which is soft and spongy. And modern ones are, can often be this plastic material or rubbery material. Now, this style of enclosure is not very gentle to certain styles of um, corkscrews, so we'll come to that later. But initially, when you get your bottle, um, in this case I'm using a foil cutter, and the purpose of that is to remove the covering of, of the wine, the cap as it's called. Um, it's got four little cutters in there, which come, you sit it on top of the bottle, and you press it together, and you simply rotate it, and the foil cutter cuts the foil. And there you go. Very neat, very nice. For at a dinner table, no mess involved. So with an artificial enclosure, I would prefer to use a waiter's friend as it's more robust. Um, a waiter's friend has got the actual screw part, the lever, and it has a, a, actually a foil cutter. Before I use this as a foil cutter, but you can use this one. Obviously this is more delicate as it's a naked blade. You would just put it against the foil, rotate the bottle with it, and that way the foil will come off in a very similar fashion. Fold that away, and I'm ready to begin to open the bottle. So I place this screw in the center of the, of the enclosure, and then resting it against the table, just screw the cork in corkscrew in and once it's taken the grip it becomes easier and what you want to do is to get it to a stage where the lever is is in this position on the bottle that gives you enough movements to actually open the bottle so I perhaps I'll rest it on there I carry on turning it and as you can see this is now nearly at the right angle to start levering out there it is so the first once it's in place pu pushing the lever part against the bottle, I can pull out my cork. You have to struggle with some of these artificial enclosures. You saw it came out quite quickly. That's because it's very smooth anyway. With a natural cork, they're much softer and so they're much easier to open than the artificial enclosure. Again, with a na natural cork, I place my waiter's friend in the center and I rotate it, letting it go into the cork you find less resistance with this. And I do exactly the same. I rotate it until I've got a leverage um, or enough movement on the lever so that I can open it. Now it's ready. Place my hand here to keep the, um, the stand in place and then I lever it out. Let's try that, then it comes out gently. Nice. And these make a nice pop. And that's a natural cork, still in order. Unscrew it. And you can see the cork is preserved, ready for use again. A lever opener like this, one of these really advanced ones, they're very convenient, very easy to use. You open it out fully in this fashion, clamp the bottle, and then you simply lever it on and slowly <coughs> off, and that will open the cork. And you can actually take the cork off very similarly. And that's a very simple operation. So where you're opening lots of bottles or you want to impress your friends, one of these is great. They do cost, however, around 40 or 50 pounds. Well, something like that you can afford to lose and they're very robust and they can be used on a picnic or at the dinner table. These ones, the wing levers, are, are okay, but they're very good for artificial enclosures like that, which are very sometimes very hard to remove. However, with a cork, because they're not hollow, like the waiter's friend, which is hollow, they're filled in the center of the spiral. They have a tendency to break up the cork. So the best thing is not to use these on an old bottle or very delicate cork. So that's how you open wine bottles.